Hey guys, Nick here, and MIT is reporting that it has created a new, incredibly cheap material that converts sunlight into steam with an amazing 85% efficiency rate. Technology like this could have major repercussions in regards to desalination, sterilization, and solar thermal power generation. The new material consists of a thin double layered disc. The bottom is a spongy carbon foam that doubles as a flotation device and thermal insulator. The foam prevents any of the solar energy captured from dissipating into the fluid underneath. The top layer consists of flakes and graphite that were exfoliated using a microwave. The microwave causes the graphite to bubble up almost like popcorn. Now, when the sunlight hits the graphite, hot spots are created where water is drawn up through the foam via capillary action. The hot spots are hot enough to turn the water into steam. The efficiency percentage comes from the amount of incoming light, a solar intensity of 10 times that of a typical sunny day, which is easy to achieve with a simple lens or reflector, 85% of incoming solar energy is converted to steam, assuming that liquid water is readily available. And then there's what this spongy steam maker can actually be used for, bulk desalination or sterilization, sure, but what about power generation? Current thermal power plants use Fresnel lenses that concentrate sunlight by up to 1,000 times. If steam can be produced with just a tenth of that, system costs and efficiency can both benefit. But clearly a lot more work needs to be done before this stuff revolutionizes power generation. It's clearly early days, but problems like limescale and corrosion have been around forever. But on the upside, there also exist tons of ways to combat it. If MIT really has stumbled across a way of cheaply and easily producing steam from sunlight, then this could be big news, so I'll keep you updated. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.